who was Anitra Lachey Gunn. She was a 22-year-old senior at Fort Valley State University. She was a performing arts major and just months shy of graduating and conquering her achievements that she worked so hard for. But she went missing on Valentine's Day and her body was found four days later. Her boyfriend, Demarcus Little, was charged with malice murder. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. This morning, I'm actually going to be discussing the story about that beautiful young lady, Miss Anitra Gunn. She um, was a university student attending college in Alabama at the time of her demise. Let me give a shout out to one of my sponsors, and then I'll be right back with more K Let's Talk About. If you're looking to purchase some great eyelashes and show off your eyes, Follow Queen Lashes, Mink Lashes by Shania. Each set of Queen Lashes are named after one of our historical queens. They come in five different variations with four different lengths. Two of them are the same length, but have different textures. The 20 millimeter lashes are Queen Amina. She was well known as a warrior princess. The 25 millimeter lashes are Queen Rana Valona. She was known as a patriotic leader. The popular 26 millimeter lashes come in two different textures. Queen Cleopatra are the pixie style lashes. She was a popular political figure from ancient Egypt. Queen Nandi are the layered thicker lashes. She was the mother of Shaka Zulu. The 27 millimeter lashes are Queen Nefertiti and her name means a beautiful woman has come. Queen lashes come with a set of lashes a purple keepsake box, and a gold pair of tweezers with your highness written on them. The complete set sells for $25 with a shipping fee of $2 in the United States only. Each order would take 7 to 10 business days. To place your order and to establish which queen you are, you can follow Shania on Instagram at queen underscore lashes underscore in. So that's queen, Q-U-E-E-N, underscore, lashes, L-A-S-H-E-S, underscore, N. And simply DM her, direct message her. Thank you for following queen, underscore, lashes, underscore, N. Okay, so here we go. Demarcus Little, the boyfriend of Anitra Gunn, was not granted bond in court Monday afternoon on his newest charge of malice murder. Little was charged on Friday in relation to Gunn's disappearance and homicide. An arrest warrant for Little states that he knowingly, intentionally, and willingly committed the offense of malice murder against Anitra Gunn. According to Georgia Bureau of Investigation Special Agent Christian Gunn, Little appeared in Crawford County Magistrate Court around 2 p.m. Little's attorney, Benjamin Davis, waived his client's preliminary hearing in an effort to achieve a speedier trial. According to the arrest warrant, Little strangled Gunn sometime between 2.30 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. on Greer Road in Crawford County on Valentine's Day. And I know y'all this happened on Valentine's Day, but it was just mandatory that we talk about this story. And that's most definitely what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and give a shout out to another one of my sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more. Okay, let's talk about it. If you're looking to add a little elegance to an event, 
Reach out to Color Columns by Shavante. Color Columns Balloon Columns are iconic party event decor made out of latex balloons. They come with toppers in a variety of different styles, featuring babies, Disney themes, numbers, myth characters, sports, etc. Whatever your heart desires, that's available. Color Columns cater to baby showers, birthdays, gender reveals, weddings, dinners, family gatherings, and social events. Any event, room, or space that is in need of a transformation. Color Columns is $50 a column with a delivery fee of $5 in the Milwaukee and close areas only. Please place your order seven days in advance by following Shavante on Instagram at Color Columns. That's spelled with a K and it's one word. K-O-L-O-R-K-O-L-U-M-N-T. Thank you for following Color Columns. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned in. Let's get into this story. Who was Anitra Lachey Gunn? She was a 22-year-old young lady. She had a beautiful voice and was amazingly talented and had a great spirit. She was a great spirited person. She was a proud graduate of Westlake High School in Atlanta. And at the time of her demise, she was a senior at Fort Valley State University, majoring in performance studies and just months shy of graduating, which means that this baby, she was getting it, you know, and she had a lot to manage. She was in school, she had homework, she had to focus on getting good grades, you know, she kept a job, she was paying bills, managing her own mental health, you know, she had a relationship, she had her social life, and most importantly, she had her family. She was someone's daughter, she was someone's sister. She had a little brother that she shared the same age with each year, so I know they was close. You know, um, she did attend a church in Alabama at the time she was living. She was attending New Canaan Baptist Church, and they said, this baby sang so good, it made your damn hair stand off your head. Like, that's how good her voice was. Like, she just was gifted, talented in so many ways. But this sweet baby, you know, she came up missing on Valentine's Day. And her father, he told the news outlets that the last time he spoke to her was to wish her a happy Valentine's Day. Now, prior to her father meeting up with the police, um, he had called them the day before about his baby, and he asked them to do a welfare check on her. And the reason why he did that is because DeMarcus Little was tracking her phone location. Her father didn't know how he was tracking her phone location, but he also stated that he had slashed her tires and he threw a brick through her window, you know, of her home. And this was some days before she went missing. So all of these things right here, these are characteristics of a female. You know, females do shit like that. They slash up your tires. They bust your windows and shit when you don't want to mess with their miserable asses no more. But that's what females do. But, you know, for sure... Um, it was unlike Anitra just to go missing like that. You know, it wasn't in her character. You know, she was a family person. Her family was always checking up on her. And, you know, her family was her top priority. Now, Mr. Gunn also stated that the last person to see his daughter was DeMarcus Little. He told the officer that these are the things that DeMarcus told him. Him and Anitra had went to a party. This was on Thursday night on the 13th. So this is the day before Valentine's Day, February the 13th. And then after the party, supposedly they went to Anitra's home to get her car. Supposedly they then went to a Waffle House at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Mind you, 2 a.m. in the morning, that's February the 14th. That's Valentine's Day. And then afterwards... They were supposed to have spent the night at DeMarcus Little House, and then apparently Anitra left his home at like 10 or 11 o'clock, you know, that morning on Valentine's Day. 
Now, keep in mind, these are all the things that Demarcus Little told, you know, her father, Mr. Gunn. Mr. Gunn, he also showed the police officer a text. It was supposed to have been, you know, the last text message that he got from his daughter, from Anitra. And he got it around 9 a.m. on Valentine's Day. The text message stated that she said um, she was going out of town with a new man, but then changed her mind and was just going to focus on herself. And honestly, how we know that? That Anitra was the one that sent that text. Now, Anitra's, this baby, her body was found on February the 14th. It was hidden beneath some tree limbs. And on the same day, Marcus the Little was arrested. He was arrested for criminal damage to her property. So he was arrested for slashing her tires and busting her windows, you know. Now, DeMarcus Little father expected him to be out of jail that evening, you know. He thought he was going to be released and freed on bond. But DeMarcus Little was charged with malice murder. Now, there was a second arrest as well. And this young man's name was Javion Abram. Javion Abram. I don't know if I'm pro pronouncing it right. But he was an acquaintance of Anitra's and he was as well of friends of DeMarcus. But he was arrested allegedly for making false statements to the authorities. The authorities was questioning him um, between February the 19th and the 20th on what happened to Anitra because they was trying to find out and to get information and he didn't give them any information. He was making, you know, false statements, you know. And as well, he was also allegedly supposed to be the one that drove DeMarcus Little away, you know, after he hit her car. See, everybody is fucking suspect. You can't trust their friends either. They all suspect. Now, DeMarcus Little got an attorney. His an attorney is in Atlanta. And these are the things that his attorney was saying. DeMarcus Little has a great military background. He doesn't have a criminal history, and he was just promoted to sergeant. And if you look at his character, um, he's just not the type of person that will go out and commit murder. Okay, but this is the same individual that put a tracker on a location, following her every damn where that she was going and shit, you know, threw a brick window in her window, and then slashed her tires. Okay, Sergeant. But Mr. David Cook, now he's the Crawford District Attorney, and he's saying that he's going to do everything that he can do to get justice for Anitra's family, and I sure, I sure hope it happens, you know. But one thing that I love that Mr. Cook said, and he said it very well, Police work isn't based off of character. It's based off of evidence. Boom. You know, the whole story is sad. I don't know exactly what took place, you know, what happened on Valentine's Day. But I know that it's unfortunate, you know, that that baby, that that, that happened to her. She had so much going for herself. Like she was really getting her life and everything that she was doing, she was great at it. I actually watched her funeral. I'm going to provide that information in the description box as well so that you guys can see that. But they just say anything but nice things about this baby. Like, she was getting it. Don't nobody want to be loved to death? Like, we don't need that and we don't want that. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time out um, to allow me to share this story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe. As well, go to my website, www.kletstalkaboutit.com. On my homepage, you can link to all of my social media sites. And then I as well have a blog page. On my blog page, each and every video that I have done thus far is on my blog page. But most importantly, I have a contact us page. And on my contact us page is the page where you can actually, you know, present your information if you want me to talk about something. If you just need advice on something and you want an opinion openly, we can talk about that as well, you know. 
But again, thank you guys again for tuning in. And until next time, our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it.